everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts, and I am so excited to be a part of a special celebration YouTube hop for Pear Tree Cup Files. Marie, who is the owner of Pear Tree, is celebrating her shop's first birthday, and when she asked who would like to join a YouTube hop to help her celebrate, my response was yes please, because her shop has some amazing designs. And so I'm going to show a few of my favorites here. These are ones that I have purchased and I have not had a chance to use yet, but y'all should definitely go and check out the Pear Tree Cut Fall Shop. So there are quite a few YouTubers participating in this hop and I will have links to all of their videos in the description below. So be sure to check out everyone's videos to see how they use the cut falls from the Pear Tree Shop. And Marie's shop has so many cute cut falls I had a really hard time choosing a design to use for the hop, but as soon as I saw the cocktails cut ball, I knew that it was just the one that I had to pick, and I had the perfect pictures to go with these super cute drinks. So I wasn't sure which drink I wanted to use, so I went ahead and cut out all three of the drinks that are included in the cocktails cut ball. Aren't these adorable? I just think these are so cute. Okay, and the pictures that I'm using are pictures that were taken from Mother's Day in 2020. And it was during the lockdowns when no one was allowed to really go anywhere. And so for Mother's Day, my sister and I took my mom over to the Gulf Coast and we went to the beach. And my sister brought along some cocktails, but they were in like a squeezy bag. And it was a frozen drink and it had a straw in it and they were really good. And we sat on the beach and had those drinks and uh, snapped these pictures of my mom. And it's so super cute, the pictures of her drinking her cocktail from the little squeezy bag. <laughs> okay, so the paper that I'm using for my layout is from a collection from Bella Boulevard. And it's called Squeeze the Day. And this was the collection that just popped into my head when I was thinking about what papers that I should use for this layout. Okay, and uh, so I've decided to use this yellow pattern paper as my background. I did kind of contemplate using that stripe paper, but that was a little bit too busy. <laughs> I did think about using the green paper, but um, I don't know. I just something about the bright sunshiny yellow just looked like it would suit the look and feel for this layout. Now, I really love the uh, border paper like this, and I wanted to bring in some of the black, and they had a... Uh, one of the border strips on there and it said a quote that was just absolutely perfect from my layout. So it said, life is short, squeeze all you can out of it. And I just thought that was just the perfect quote for this layout. And I also love the stripes that was right under that border strip. Uh, so I just included that as well. And I'm going to put it down there at the bottom of my layout, just as a kind of a shelf for the drink to sit on. So I had a really hard time deciding which one of these drinks to use on my layout. And I kind of went back and forth between these two taller drinks. And I ended up picking uh, the one with the skinnier glass. It just seemed to really suit the pictures. And uh, I just thought it was really cute. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use that. Now I did think about using both of them, uh, but I think that uh, they were a little bit too big to use uh, both of them. I might have been able to do it, but I just really wanted to make sure that the cut file was really a star of this layout because after all, we are celebrating Marie's uh, shop. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I uh, really showcased uh, the cut file. And so I'm just uh, going to use one of these drinks and I'm trying to figure out exactly what paper I should use. And all of these papers were really busy and uh, it was really cute, you know, looking at all of the different paper, like the lemons and the hearts and and all of these different patterns. But uh, it didn't really suit the look of this drink. I wanted to really make it look more like a real drink. So I'm going to start off with this orange paper and I'm going to turn this uh, slice of uh, orange into an orange. I guess it could have been a lemon. I chose to make it orange just because my background is yellow. And so I think it will go a little bit better if I make that a yellow orange <laughs> or an orange orange. <laughs> okay, and uh, the next thing that I'm going to try to do is figure out uh, what paper to use for the umbrella. And so I thought that this stripe paper 
would be perfect to use for the little umbrella there that's on the top of the drink. And so I'm gonna use that striped paper. Now I went ahead and just traced around that uh, with a pencil and cut that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this liquid glue and attach this uh, piece of paper to the back of the cup ball. And it's really easy to back a cup ball. It's one of my favorite things to do with cup balls. And I just think that uh, it's really an easy technique because you don't have to really worry too much about getting things perfect because a lot of it's covered up uh, because you're putting it behind the cut fall. And uh, it is a little bit challenging sometimes to get the shape right, but if you just make it bigger and you just keep cutting pieces off of it, you can eventually get it to fit. And uh, so um, I really do enjoy uh, doing this type of a process with the cut falls. Now, I did struggle a little bit with this because I decided uh, that I wanted to try to do something a little bit special. And uh, I had the idea to maybe turn this into a shaker. And so I thought, well, if I was going to make this a shaker, I should use something like a acetate or a vellum. And so what I decided to do was to take this polka dot paper and cut it in half to make it look like the bottom was the liquid that was in the glass. And then I'm going to get out some vellum and I'm gonna use the vellum to make it look like this is a real glass. And I did uh, think about making it into a shaker, uh, but uh, I really struggled a little bit with this. I glued things on wrong and I kind of messed it up. <laughs> so I had to kind of take a break from it. And then I went to craft night, which I go to every Tuesday night with my mom. We go to a, a different person's house each Tuesday night and we get together and we do crafts and we have dessert and we just visit. And so I was trying to think of something that I could bring with me to craft night. And I decided uh, to go ahead and try to redo uh, this. So that's why you're not going to see me actually back the new cut fall in this video because I wasn't filming that. I was at a friend's house, uh, but I am going to actually redo this uh, entirely because I messed it up really bad when I, I glued that piece on backwards and then ended up ripping the cut fall and it had glue all over the front of it and it was a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my pictures. I decided to go ahead and cut my pictures down and make them into squares. And so the larger picture is going to be a four by four and the two smaller pictures I'm going to make into a two and a half by two and a half inch square. So I really don't have much to embellish this layout because the Bella Boulevard collection only had the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I'm going to be bringing in bits and pieces from my stash, including two collections from Echo Park that have a summer theme. And here are the two drinks that I created. Aren't these adorable? I just had so much fun creating these two drinks and I'm going to be using the second drink for another layout with that picture of my sister and me that was taken on the same day. Okay, so now that I have my background and I have my drinks created, I'm looking for some paper to map my photos. And I wanted to make my photos stand out a little bit more from the background and bring in more black. And so I decided to use this black and white polka dot paper. I also thought about doing a double mat with another pattern paper, but in the end, I'm just going to mat my photos with some white cardstock and then use this black pattern paper. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna work on is trying to figure out where my clusters are going to go. And I'm using some ephemera pieces from two Echo Park collections, The Best Summer Ever and Summer Party. And I thought about using that quote there that says, lazy summer days, but I thought it covered up the drink too much. And so I'm gonna end up taking that off. I also thought about using some washi tape and I didn't really use the washi tape at this point, but at the very, very end, you're going to see in the still pictures that I added some black washi tape, a very thin strip of it at the top of the layout. And uh, so I did end up using some washi tape, but I didn't get that on the, uh, in the video, but you'll see it at the end. Okay, so I struggled a little bit with trying to figure out what exactly to do at the top here. And uh, I tried out a bunch of different things. I did know that I wanted to include some black at the top of the layout. 
just to draw your eye up to the top because I had that really strong element at the bottom with that black border strip. And so I am going to take one of the border stickers from that 12 by 12 sticker sheet along with some black paper and create a banner to go across the top of the layout. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this border strip at the bottom of my layout. And then I'm gonna try to figure out which one of these drinks I'm going to be using. Both of these were so cute, I had a hard time deciding which one to use. But in the end, I'm going to use this tall skinny drink. And then I just needed to figure out how to place my pictures on the layout. I decided to put the two smaller pictures, one on top of the other, on the left hand side and then to angle or tilt the larger picture just to kind of give it a little bit of movement and i thought that was kind of uh, uh, like a sip sip and then a laugh giggle <laughs> if you look at the pictures and what my mom was doing in the pictures okay so for the title i thought about using this quote that says life is good i thought that would be a good title for this layout but uh, when I went to put those foam thickers onto the layout, they just looked really bulky and dark and they just did not suit the look and feel of this layout. I also really couldn't figure out a good placement uh, uh, for how to actually get them to go onto the layout. I thought about overlapping the picture, but the picture was tilted. And so I'm going to struggle with this uh, title quite a bit before I end up giving up on that and looking for something else to use for my title. So I am looking at these three dimensional stickers from the paper studio. These came from Hobby Lobby and I thought about using something on there for my title and I did pull a little sticker that said this was awesome but it didn't really seem like that would be the title for this layout and so I'm going to look at these puffy stickers and these came from Vicki Booten. I can't remember what collection that's from. And I pulled out the puffy stickers that said Big Smiles. And I thought, well, that'd be cute. So I'm going to actually title this layout Big Smiles. And I'm going to put that title there at the bottom of that picture, right on top of the picture. Okay, so now that I have my title figured out, I'm going to work on the banner that's going to go on the top of the layout. And I took just part of one of the border stickers that was from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and just took a piece of that and then added a strip of the black and white polka dot paper on top of it. And then I was looking at that and I thought, well, that just doesn't look like it's enough. And so I'm looking at the border paper again and I'm going to cut out this border strip that says today is sublime and it just repeats that over and over. And so I thought about uh, using something else from there, but in the end, I'm just going to use that blue strip. And uh, I thought about using this lemon paper. So I'm gonna cut a strip of the lemon paper. It's a one and a half inch strip. And I'm going to layer that blue piece on top, on top of that, and then add this little banner. And I thought that looked super cute, but then it looked a little bit heavy at the top of the layout. So I started looking through the papers again, trying to find a paper that I thought would work a little better. And so I came across this paper that had rainbows and fruit, and I thought it really suited the look and feel of the layout. It was more light and airy, and it repeated the colors from the border strip that was at the bottom of the layout. So now you're going to see me looking around, trying to figure out what I did with the banner that I created, and I found it right there underneath my paper trimmer. <laughs> Y'all ever wonder sometimes where things go when you lose them while you're working on a layout? I remember one time I was working on a layout and I had these little suitcases from the Paige Evans Horizon Collection, and I lost my little yellow suitcase and I never did find it ever. I don't ever know what happened to it. <laughs> It was there and then uh, it wasn't, <laughs> but at least I was able to find my banner. Okay, so um, I did go back and forth between the lemon paper and the rainbow paper, but in the end, I'm going to go with the rainbow paper. And uh, one thing that I struggled with a little bit here was that 
I still didn't feel like I had enough black at the top of this layout. And at the very end, once I had finished filming, I did go and grab a very thin black and white washi tape from my stash and I added that uh, to the layout. And I really think that that was the right choice because it, it really did need more black there at the top of the layout. Okay, so now that I have the banner figured out and I'm just going to glue that down, I'm going to start working on embellishing this layout. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to look through is some ephemera pieces from a doodlebug collection called Hello. And I picked this up from joanns.com. And I love doodlebug, but sometimes it's hard to find that on sale. So I wanted to share a couple of places online that you can find Doodlebug products on sale. And one of those is joanns.com. So not only can you find Doodlebug, you can also find Simple Stories, Child Bella, 49 and Market, Stamperia, Craft Consortium, and other manufacturers that you don't usually see on sale at other sites. So if you go to joannes.com when they're having one of their big paper crafting sale and search for a manufacturer like Doodlebug, you might see some products popping up on sale. And so that's really a lot of fun to go and try to see what you can find over there at Joann's when they're having their uh, 40, 50, or 60% off sale. Okay, so another online store is a new store to me. It's called brutusmonroe.com. And uh, I found out about this store because they sent me uh, a pop-up notification. I think it might have been uh, in my browser. And it was a sale on their paper. It was five cents uh, for uh, double-sided scrapbooking paper from Photoplay. And so that's how I found out about Brutus Monroe. And then once I started shopping in their store, I realized that they sell Doodlebug. They also sell Simple Stories and they will often have sales. And so I was recently able to pick up some new Doodlebug collections, including the Cute and Crafty for 25% off at Brutus Monroe. Okay, so another online store that you might not know about that has really awesome prices and will often have things on sale, including Doodlebug and Simple Stories and a lot of these other companies, is a store called officesupply.com. And what's really interesting about officesupply.com is that it looks like an office supply store, but there's a section in the store called paper crafting. And when you shop from there, it's actually sending you things from Office Depot and from the same warehouse that joannes.com uses. <laughs> so if you're looking for something and you can't find it on Joann's, you might try officesupply.com and they will often have coupons and really good uh, deals at that store. Okay, so the fourth place I wanted to tell y'all about is a store called Amazing Paper Craft. Oh wait, AmazingGracePaperCrafts.com and AmazingGracePaperCrafts.com is a small store and they mainly sell kits that they create themselves, which are page kits, but they also sell Doodlebug. And so you might find Doodlebug collections on sale at AmazingGracePaperCraft.com. Okay, so while I was telling you about all the awesome places that you could shop for Doodlebug, <laughs> I am going ahead and embellishing this layout with all of these different flowers that I found from that uh, ephemera pack from Doodlebug. Also found a little bird that I'm gonna perch on top of the picture there. And then um, I had some really old stickers from a sticker book. And those are all those flowers that you saw on those uh, sticker sheets. And I took one of those, they're clear stickers. I put it onto some white cardstock and then I fussy cut that out. And I added that also above the uh, picture there. Okay, so as I'm building these different clusters, one of the things that I am trying to do is to balance this layout and to uh, create some, uh, what would I say, consistency or repetition between the different uh, uh, areas on the layout or the different clusters. And so you'll see me using uh, the same color three times. So I have a large pink flower and also a pink 
uh, adventure up there at the very top of the layout. Then I had the large pink flower above the photo and then a pink butterfly uh, next to the drink. And so it creates this triangle and it makes your eyes move around the layout, bringing the focus in towards your pictures if you create your clusters in a triangle around your pictures. Okay, so as I work on filling out these clusters, I am constantly looking to balance the three clusters and to repeat elements so that I can draw my eye around from one cluster to the next, drawing you back in towards the photos. And uh, so I'm just going to keep pulling in different pieces and moving things around. I move things around quite a bit. I did think that the floral was a little bit too close to the cluster that's right above the photo. And so I'm going to move that up and then chop some more of that flower off of the layout. And uh, I think that looked much better because it wasn't hanging down so far. And uh, I did try to use this little puffy sticker that was a pineapple, uh, but I couldn't find anything um, any place to put that that it looked good so that's going to end up going back onto the sticker sheet so I'm also going to add a flare button to this layout and I pulled in a few different uh, buttons that I had available that had a summer theme and uh, I tried out quite a few of them I would really have liked to have used more than one flare button but for some reason for me using two flare buttons seems like it's not enough. Using three just seems like it's too many. So I usually just end up using one flare button on a layout. Uh, but I love the uh, added dimension and texture that it brings because it's metallic and it just gives a really different look to whatever cluster you end up putting that flare button into. And I think they're super cute. Now I have to say that uh, I'm a little bit biased because I've created these flare buttons myself. I have a button shop where I create custom flare buttons and I'll put a link to my button shop in the description below and I'll put the uh, website here on the screen if you all want to check that out. But I have over 700 different designs in my button shop and uh, it's really a lot of fun to create the buttons and so uh, yeah I love adding those to a layout. So I ended up using just one flare button on the top cluster and it's a little button that has a tropical drink and it says summer. And I thought that was perfect for this layout. Okay, so I am adding some foam tape to some of the flowers and also to the wings on the butterfly just to add more dimension to my layout. And then the last little thing that I'm going to do to this layout just to add a little bit more embellishing is to uh, use some puffy stickers and also some little word stickers. And I love using words on my layout, especially if I don't do journaling, just because it helps to tell the story by whatever word stickers or quotes you choose to use on your layout. So I added a little black and white puffy sticker there at the top that says moments like this. I also added in a few more leaves to the cluster at the top and then the one at the bottom by the drink just to bring that lime green color into those clusters. And uh, I already had the color in the bird and you can see that it draws your eye around the layout in that triangle uh, just by bringing in those brighter green leaves. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do here is to look at a sticker book that comes from Bella Boulevard. It's called the Word Salad and it has quotes in different colors. And I think the name of that is just super cute. <laughs> and I was able to find uh, one sticker that said a great day and then another one that said be silly and then a third sticker that says the good times are here. And so I just love all of the different words that I found to put onto this layout. And my layout says, today is sublime, adventure, moments like this, a great day, summer, so fun, big smiles, be silly, life is short, squeeze all you can out of it. This was awesome and the good times are here. <laughs> 
Okay, so that pretty much finishes this layout. I hope y'all enjoyed this scrapbook process video. And if you did, please give this video a like. And if you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel. And y'all be sure to check out all of the other videos in this YouTube hop. And I'm sure you'll have lots of inspiration for how to use the cut files from the Pear Tree Cut Shop. And I'm going to share with you some close-ups of this layout. I also have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell, that I put at the end of this video. So if y'all want to see that, stick around to the end. So happy birthday to Marie and Pear Tree Cut Falls. I think your cut falls are super awesome. And I just wish that you were located in the United States because I saw a whole bunch of really awesome goodies in your store that you just added recently. And uh, I see that you don't ship to the U.S. So hopefully that'll be something that you do in the future because I'm sure that you're going to have many more years with your shop. And so thank you for inviting me to help you to celebrate this uh, milestone. I really had a lot of fun creating this layout using that cocktails cup ball. Okay, so that's all I have. Hope y'all have an awesome day and I hope to see you next time. Bye now. <laughs> Hi, Miss Girls. What y'all doing? Are y'all in trouble? <laughs> Are y'all being good? You are? Can you say hi? And what else? You got nothing else to say, Miss B? No? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, what else? You want Lily Bell to talk? Lily Bell, you got anything to say? She doesn't, well, why don't you ever let her talk? It's, it's awfully mean of you, Miss Bella, not to let Lily Bell talk. Well, even if she doesn't want to say anything, you need to give her a chance. <laughs> Miss Lily Bell, would you like to say anything, Miss Sweetie? Huh? Do you have anything to say, Lily Bell? Can you speak? You can speak? <laughs> You're so funny. So what else you got to say? Well, that's not. Nice. <laughs> you, you sound like you're yelling at me. <laughs> Are you yelling at me? Okay. Well, what y'all don't say, what y'all don't see that Miss Bella sees is the nuts that I have on the table here. <laughs> yeah, you want nuts. <laughs> you are nuts. <laughs> You're a crazy dog. <laughs> Would you like a nut? Would you like a nut for the nut? <laughs> she doesn't like me calling her nuts. <laughs> what about you, you little Bell? Are you a nut? Would you like a nut? <laughs> Would you like a snack? Okay, I'll give y'all a peanut. How about that? Would you like a peanut? Okay, I'm going to quit teasing you. All right, you ready for your nut? What are you going to do for this nut? <laughs> Can you speak? Speak! <laughs> y'all are goofy. Can you speak? Say woof woof. No. Oh, there you go. There's one for you. <laughs> okay. Sit. Lily Bell, sit. There you go. Good girl. Are they good? Is it a good treat? Okay, let's see. What, what else can you do? What other tricks? You can down. Okay, down. Good job. I'm so impressed. Okay. Down. 
Bella. <laughs> You're gonna do a speak instead of a down? <laughs> she likes my what that. Speak. Good job. Bella, speak. Speak. Good job. <laughs> okay, you get one more and then that's all, okay? Just one more. Okay. <laughs> speak. Lily Bell, speak. Speak. Woof woof. Woof woof. Good job. <laughs> okay, well that's all the treats we're gonna have tonight. So the kitchen is closed. Was that a good snack? <laughs> Y'all are silly. Okay. All right, well, that's all we have. So y'all take care. Hope you have an awesome day and we hope to see you next time. Bye now.